Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. As far as support goes, it seems like the options are limited because there is only one option under the support section. But once I click that, you'll see it expands into quite a few options. And we are going to look over a couple of the absolutely necessary and important ones in this video, which is the general support selection. And we will do another video in the future to go in the next slot in this playlist, kind of covering some of these other ones. But basically for now, there are a couple of settings you need to be aware of. Obviously, you need to turn support on in order to use it. Um, and then you're gonna wanna look at support placement. There are two options and they are everywhere or touching the build plate. Everywhere will put support on top of, uh, for example, you're printing a bust. It will put support on top of the chest to support the chin. Whereas touching build plate will not put that unless the bottom of the support is on the build plate to reduce the uh, uh, it, to reduce the interface of the support so with everywhere you can have support that is interfaced on the top and the bottom and in some cases this is necessary but in most cases you'll get a cleaner model using touching build plate only uh, if you can support the places that need support using that method I recommend it the support overhang angle is going to be very dependent on your hot end and your fans for example, my Ender 3 has no problem printing supports, uh, uh, printing angles up to about 60% without support. So that's why I have this value here. Um, you can find out what angle your printer will print to by printing an overhang test. They are There are a lot of them on Thingiverse that are pre-engineered, so you can see exactly what angle your printer starts drooping at. I can tell you my TiVo Tarantula Pro, the other printer I have here, is a little bit better. It'll go up to 75 without needing support. But basically, when you have a model that needs support, it will be highlighted in this area with a red surface underneath where the support needs to go, just to kind of give you a heads up. Um, there are also support patterns in here. We will have a separate video for that as well because there are a lot of those. But the other thing that we need to be aware of is support density. Now, support density is a lot like infill density. It's going to determine how much support is placed where and how far apart the support lines are. So the support line distance is determined by the density. With support, you don't need as much density as infill because it doesn't add anything structurally to the final model. It's basically a placeholder to hold filament that's printed above it and then it's going to be removed so if you want to be technical you want as little support density as possible because it's the least amount of wasted filament to hold up the overhang that you're trying to print and you actually want the connection to be kind of weak you don't want to overdo your support and end up having to chip away at it for months and throwing away as much material as you used to print the model so generally a good density is right around 10 to 15 percent I don't generally increase it to 20 unless I'm going to be printing something I know is heavier on top. And even then, depending on the shape, once you have the main bottom of the overhang, the rest will print vertically with no problem. So you're really only worrying about those interface layers of the actual overhang itself with the support. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.